Okay, here are the uh, six injectors I pulled out of my 1999 Ford Explorer uh, 4.0 single overhead cam. I uh, consistently had a lean condition on my vehicle here, and I did a pressure pressure test, a uh, pressure balance test on these injectors. Tested at different pressure drops, so that leads me to believe they're plugged up. Uh, so. Instead of buying brand new injectors, I thought I would try uh, an online service. I found this service. Uh, here's the website, uh, MrInjector.us. He has a website, and this is it. Uh, basically, I'm going to send him my injectors, and I, uh, I think it's $17.50 per injector. Uh, I understand he's going to ultrasonic clean these. Uh, replace the filters and o-rings and pencil caps and whatnot and uh, put them on an as new machine which is which is basically this machine right here that it cleans them you look at the flow rates and you check them and you, and, you know test the difference and I uh, sent this gentleman an email and he responded back to me I asked him if he would mind uh, videotaping the process I told him I'd put it on my YouTube channel if he cleaned them up for me, and uh, you know so I can see what he did and show you guys what what's involved. And in return, I was going to put a link to his website and have you guys check it out. But uh, basically, that's where I'm at. And if you go here, you can uh, see there's a service form right here. Go to click on service form, and I basically go to I went to the PDF form. I'll show you guys what it is. It's this form right here you fill out. It asks questions, tells you where to mail your injectors to, ask your information, uh, talks about price per injector, how many injectors, if you had something, uh, uh, how you want to be billed, whether PayPal, credit card. So has a little section you can tell them what's wrong if you had a, just regular maintenance or you're putting in a new engine or if you had problems and I filled mine all out here getting ready to getting ready to box this thing up so I'm gonna ship him these injectors and uh, gonna let you guys know how it turns out and I'll show you the video he makes and uh, I think all in all I'm gonna be spending about a hundred and a little over a hundred dollars which for six injectors really that's uh, a whole lot better than you know these injectors are about a hundred dollars a piece uh, if you bought them brand new and the reason I'm doing this is because I suspect they're plugged up. I I put a, an ohm meter on each one of these things, and every one of these is about the same ohmic value, around 15.2.3 ohms, uh, which is well within the manufacturer's specification. So I'm I'm betting that it's just you know if you look in there they're pretty dirty. Uh, you know, changing these filters, changing the pencil caps, and Really, I, th I think it's, I'm, I'm going to see how it goes, you know, I, I don't know, I've never done this service before. In the past, I've always bought new injectors. So I'm going to, I'm going to give it a shot. Basically, I'm going to ship them off like this. I'm going to uh, cover these up. Keep them, uh, I'm going to cover them up. I'm going to put them in these, uh, I got two bubble wrap bags and a Ziploc bag, and then I'm going to throw them in this box here and mail them out to, to that address. So uh, let me get this all packed up and I'll, I'll show you what I got. some injectors uh, in this morning to look at. The first thing that we do when a, a set of injectors arrive is we mark the box with a date. So these all are processed in order. And when you 
ship them in just package them so that they're cushioned a lot of our customers will use the postal services small flat rate box and like this you can get these at the post office uh, the boxes are free I think the shipping charge on this is about 525 it's the you know if it fits it'll ship the only um, The only advice I would have for you is there's only glue on this front flap is tape up the ends in case the box gets crushed a little bit nothing will fall out okay let's see what we have here One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. We've got six orange Bosch Type 3s. And here's the service form that the customer decided to go ahead and, uh, and print this out with his printer and then fill it in by hand. We have three form choices. There's one that you can, uh, it's a PDF style, you can fill out online and print it out so you can type into it. And there's also a web submission form. And let's check the information, make sure that we've got everything here that we need. Address, number of injectors, six. Orange T3s. And it looks like he's been having a lean running condition on the vehicle. And we're going to put the date in, which is Thursday. 721 okay so these are ready to go into the flow batch uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, electrical test and uh, make sure that there's no leak down so we'll get them mounted up into the bench and see what we've got okay I'm ready to mount these and I'm going to change these O-rings and I've got some special O-rings that I use with the flow bench that are a fairly thick diameter and they fit the appliance better so we'll get set up and the reason I do this is so that we can check these with the filters in we've got uh, adapters that allow you to put these into this rail adapter but you have to pull the filters out so what I use is a style like this which is more like the rail on the car that way I can check them with the filters in to see if there was any filter restriction and also it makes the injector less vulnerable to contamination during this process I, I don't like to have the filters out more than I have to so when I when I pull these old ones out I will immediately put new ones in so that we don't have an injector open to the shop environment Okay, and I've got an adapter plate in here that will work with these Bosch Type 3 injectors. Get them lined up. And clamped in. looking for consistency more than anything they're all right at 
15.3 ohms. Fifteen three to fifteen four, it's fine. It's within a tenth or two of each other. And we'll get our adapter harness plugged in so that we can run our flow check. that I'm going to go ahead and just energize the pump put some pressure on them and see if there's any leak down it's okay but we'll leave some pressure on them and let them sit for just a little bit and see what they look like on leak down I'll move the camera so we can get a better look at our flow check Okay, didn't detect any leak down in the leak down test. I'm ready to have a look at the patterns. So we've got our pressure set and let's go ahead and run them. The patterns really look, look pretty good on this. Maybe have number two adjust a teeny bit thin. Doesn't look, doesn't look too terrible. Let's move down and have a look at the flow. Okay, not too bad. Looks like we've got uh, two and th yeah, yeah, two and three with just some some minor flow loss. Uh, what do we got here? Maybe five or six cc's on two and a few cc's on one, two, three, four. Actually, not terrible. Well, let's get them on out of the bench. What we're going to do next is do an immersion clean on the body so that the body is nice and clean. Try not to shake too much here. I've got the camera off of the tripod. Uh, I've got them in the immersion tank now, and we'll well we'll clean these in this immersion tank for probably 10 to 15 minutes and get the bodies nice and clean. And I do this with the filters in to prevent any contamination from entering the injector. Turn on the time and the heat. Warm it up a little bit, and we'll pull these out here in a little bit. Okay, they're loaded into the bench. I'm going to turn the cleaning cycle on. We'll let them clean for 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll recheck them. Okay, they've been cleaned, and I have flushed the cleaning fluid out of the injectors already, so I'm ready to take a look at the spray patterns again. They look pretty good, and we'll let that run down.
Oh, it looks good. It looks like we've restored our flow loss on those two low ones that we had. And we're going to dry off the tips. Leave some pressure on there, make sure that there's no leak down. Which can cause some hard starting problems. Oh, so we'll let that sit and check them in just a little bit. All right, they've passed the leak down test and uh, what I'm gonna do now is fill these all with oil. We use WD-40. This is an extra step that we take to make sure if the injectors aren't installed right away, if the customer decides you know, he's gonna put these uh, aside, it's a project car and they're not gonna go in for an extended amount of time, these injectors will still function. They'll be just fine. So we just cycle them. Put some WD-40 in them, and that gives them shelf life. Okay, I'm going to blow dry them now and uh, we'll be ready to put some service parts on them. Alright, we're ready to put our seals and keepers back on the injectors. So we'll put the rings on first and we'll warm those keepers up. Expand them a little bit. Make them a little more pliable so they'll go on easily and won't crack. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to stack these on a screwdriver and warm them up on the heat gun. And just line them up. Come on. Okay, they're ready to go back into service and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap these all up now and get them ready to package. Okay, we, we package all of the injectors that we ship back in 4 mil plastic and we put each injector in a separate package and then we mark the main package with the customer's name so that there's no confusion about the order and so they're they're double sealed that way if they end up being on the shelf for a while uh, it helps give them better shelf life and to it it protects them in uh, return shipping then we'll put some bubble wrap around these put them in a flat rate box and get it addressed and sent back Here's my injectors I got back from uh, uh, Mr. Injector. Um, I'll open this up and see what I got. box inside a box and 
Looked hard. We got a piece of candy. It's always cool. Hey, all right. We got some more candy. Guess this is my invoice. Mount due. 116. Yeah, I asked for insurance for a little bit extra. Okay, here is uh, the ohm values, and that, that's what I—that's what I about what I got too before I sent it off to them. Load, pass, leak. Uh, two of them were a little bit low on flow rates, according to this. And that's about what I got too on when I did my uh, uh, I did my fuel injector pressure balance test. Okay, before after. So that's what we got. Here's a little, uh, little, uh, little tip, and uh, there's my flow rate. Okay. I'll just do this real quick. Okay. That's empty. Okay. This should be my injectors, and here's my DVD movie I asked for, and I'll be uploading that to YouTube to see everything you did. But, uh, Got them packed up real good. They look good. They got new, new O-rings, new uh, filters. I can see them. Plus, they cleaned up really good. They, are, they look like new injectors to me. Hey. All right. Well, hey, I'm gonna go take a look at this DVD now. But uh, hey, all in all, it looks. Those things were super dirty when I sent them to them. I can tell just by looking at them, they're real clean. Hey, alright. Done deal.